guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is part 12 of my makeup collection. This should be a nice short video because this drawer didn't have too much in it. Um, I couldn't actually get the drawer itself out. It's the kind that doesn't come out. Um, but there you go. This is all contoury, bronzy type stuff. So if you want to see what is in this part of my collection then keep watching there will be a playlist linked down below to the rest of the collection if you want to go and check that out and let's get into it so the first thing i have in here is the calvin klein sundance bronzing powder quite shimmery little number very pretty um probably a touch dark for my PCR skin. Um, I have this massive Chi Chi Tropical Island Bronzer. I got this from Tamara J. This is actually a pretty good bronzer for uh, lighter skinned people because it's not too dark. It actually works pretty nicely on us lighter skinned lasses. Uh, so yeah. As for that one, I haven't really used that one too much. I have this one which came from Kmart. It's just the basic bronzing powder. Again, it's probably a little bit on the dark side. It kind of falls between the Calvin Klein and the Chi Chi in terms of colour. Um, but I'm sure I could make it work if I tried hard enough. Um, this one is from Shop Miss A. I actually have two of these ones um, and they are both the same and I don't know why I have two the same. These weird things happen to me. It might have been a two for one deal or something. <laughs> I'm not really sure but it's that really annoying thing where it looks super duper pretty until you watch it and the overspray comes off um and underneath the overspray it's not quite as interesting but this is super duper shimmery that's that's gonna make you look super duper bronzed like a bronze goddess if you're into that kind of thing which generally doesn't necessarily work for me you know sometimes you buy things and you think why again did i buy that i really don't know um, I have this LA Colors Mosaic Bronzing Powder, which you can see I've actually used quite a bit. It's got a fairly sizable dip over here in it. Um, yeah, so obviously I don't terribly mind this one. Um, this is their Sun Kissed Bronze one. And, I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's a relatively light bronzer. Which is probably why I liked it, because, you know, I'm not, as I keep on saying, I'm kind of pasty. <laughs> Whoops, just bumped the camera. Um, I have, from Clean Colour, I have four of their uh, bronzers. I, I really got these because I was thinking of, um, like, in my kit, having ones for different skin tones. Not that I really know too many people of various skin tones. Most people I know are like me fairly pasty um, but I have three of the matte bronzers in three different tones so this one is Waikiki this one is Tahiti and this one is Fiji so this is actually one uh, number two number three and number four I'm sure there is a number one which is actually lighter because um, that's the lightest one and then that's the next one down. It's got a hard pan on it, which I'll have to scratch off. And this is the darkest one. But they're all matte, which is really, really good. And then you have this one, which is the Shimmer Bronzer. And this is in Bali, which is number one. And... <laughs> Glitter, anyone? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I reckon that would make a really good eyeshadow. <laughs> Not sure that it would make a very good bronzer for me, but it would make a really good eyeshadow. See, this is the thing I think, is if I've got bronzers and stuff that I can't use as bronzers, I can probably use them as eyeshadows 
you know, and still use them. Like, and because they're powders, you know, they're not going to go to waste. Uh, this one is from Glow Fusion. It is their Sunshine Active Bronzer. It's actually pretty dark. Um, uh, probably a lot darker than I can actually get away with as a bronzer. Um, but again, I could use it as an eyeshadow. It would probably work pretty good for that kind of thing. So that's all of those ones. And then there's, I don't know how this ended up in this drawer. It's actually a lip tint. It should have been in another drawer, but anyway. This is from Mika Beauty. This is their tinted lip balm in Velvet Rose. I obviously thought I was putting it in the other drawer with those lip balmy things. My hand just looks really dirty from this angle. I'm just going to wipe that off because it's very distracting to me. Um, I bought this the other day. I haven't actually, I haven't even taken out of the box as you can see. This is the light face contour kit and it actually doesn't look too bad. Actually, I'm just going to, I don't know why I keep things in boxes. It's kind of annoying. Um, oh wow. I thought it was only going to be half powder, but they're like full. It's actually not too bad. Wow, that might actually work. My finger's a little bit dirty. That's that's not the best way of doing this. It's not too powdery. Might be a little bit too orange, like yellowy orange. But it could work. I wonder what the highlighter's like. Whoa. <laughs> A nice gold sheen to it. Interesting. Um, yeah, this was like two bucks. It was like two bucks from Kmart. So, you know, for the price, um, I'm not expecting miracles. Um, and if it does work, that's great. Not that I don't have enough contours, as you are about to find out. Um, okay, so these are all Astralis on tour, the AC on tour contour and highlighting kits. Now this one here is the last one I got. This one is meant for light complexion. They reformulated and they had light, dark and medium I think. So this one is meant for light complexions. Um, so those are the powders and as you can see I have not touched this one. This middle shade here would probably be my preferred contour and that would probably be my preferred highlighter or maybe the one with the shimmer on it. So that's the one that's meant for light skins. This one, one of these I bought and I bought the second one accidentally and the other one I was actually I actually got off uh, Tamara J um, and these two are actually exactly the same they're exactly the same Astralis contouring kit I'm pretty sure this is the one that I bought <laughs> this is the one that Tamara sent me and then when you compare them to the light one how well you're going to be able to see this, but if I put that down, this shade here, this is the light version, this shade here is lighter than this one, there is actually, a, these are all just a touch lighter than the ones from the original kit, but the highlight shades all appear to be exactly the same, it's just these contoury type ones down the bottom look slightly lighter in tone so there is a slight variation as you can see I have three of basically exactly the same palette and then one of my friends the other day she says to me oh I just bought the um, Astralis contouring and highlighting kit and I'm like you should have told me because I have three <laughs> so, but anyway 
So that is everything that was in that particular drawer. Um, slightly shorter one than some of my other collection videos. Uh, as I said before, the collection uh, playlist is linked down below if you want to go and check that out. If you want to subscribe, click the little subscribe button down there and click the bell next to it if you want to get notifications of when I put up a new video. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup collection type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!